A new ISIS video emerged over the weekend showing hostage John Cantley, the British photojournalist, was captured two years ago in Syria with American James Foley, who was executed in August. Five former ISIS hostages spoke out for the first time to the New York Times. They described the horrors that Foley and other captives endured before they were beheaded, including waterboarding and other torture. Many Kalamachi reported and wrote this story. Welcome. Thank you so much. What were your sources? I mean, how did you get such remarkable detail and such horrific stories? My, my number one source, and this was the former hostages who were held with James Foley and with, and with the other captives. But in addition, I was also able to speak to a, a former member of ISIS uh, who ran afoul of the group uh, sometime last year and became a prisoner himself in the same jail where, where Foley was held. Uh, he was held with Foley for three weeks and is now back in Europe where I was able to speak to him for the first time. And you even so show that Foley realized they were talking to his family because of the details they had. Yes. For the first year of his captivity, uh, the, 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 the captors made essentially no demands. Um, and I think he was very desperate. You know, there, it wasn't clear why they were holding him, what they wanted with him. Uh, a year in, which is roughly November, December of last year, they took all of the hostages out one by one, and by this time there were close to two dozen, and they asked them each three proof-of-life questions. Uh, in Foley's case, it was something very specific about who cried at your brother's wedding. Uh, and when he heard those questions, uh, the others said that when he came back to their shared cell, he broke down crying because he knew my family finally knows I'm alive, mm -hmm. and surely my government is now going to negotiate my release, which is the real tragedy of this, that that, that did not happen. The details that you report about how these hostages were beaten, starved, waterboarded is really difficult. And also that of these, I think it was 23 prisoners, they were divided into two groups. Mm -hmm. Why? Basically, the Americans and the Brits uh, were put in a different category than the other Europeans. And what the other hostages say is that, yes, of course, there was a certain animus uh, towards Americans and Brits because of our role in, on the war on terror. But they also realized that, that the Americans and the British would not pay. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were punishing them for our country's policy on ransoms. Mm -hmm. You also describe how Foley organized games among the hostages. This is the second time that Foley was taken. He was also kidnapped in Libya uh, one year earlier. And uh, people that were held with him in Libya and people that were held with him in Syria say the same thing. He was the one who organized lectures. You know, people, people would give a lecture on a topic that they knew well. They played risk, which I was able to confirm through his brother was a pastime in the Foley family. And he organized for the prisoners at Christmas time mm. uh, to, to do a, a, a jailhouse version of Secret Santa. Rukmini Kalamaki, incredible reporting. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dora. Wonderful to have you here.